Well, hey everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to cheat at Connect4, but more importantly, teach you how to insert columns and rows in Google Sheets. So, uh, let's have a look. There are a couple of ways of inserting columns and rows in Google Sheets. Uh, first, we can use the basic menu item. So we can go up here and click on insert, and you can say insert column left, insert column right, and row above and row below. Now this is all determined on where the cell is. So I've got my cursor over here that would insert a row or a column above, below, left or right of this cell. So if we wanted to cheat at Connect4, we can click on, let me say, let's say I am the X's and I want to add an extra X in here. So I can go insert and we'll say, let's make another one column to the left and we can put in an X in here and there we go so now i've got four i am the champion finally as you can see all the formatting has come across um, if we are inserting between two sets of formatted data um, the reason why the color has changed is because i've used some conditional formatting here for every time there's an x it will have a background of red and a nice big red x and the opposite for the blue all the conditional formatting is intact when you insert columns and rows so again another way of doing this is let's say let's control z and control z to go back uh, let's say i am blue this time and i want to insert a row just uh, just below here to win. I can hit the right click button and I can say insert row and that will insert a row just above. And again, I can hit my zero and I'm done. Champion again. Cool. Um, another way of doing it is if I wanted to pick a row, let's go back to being team X and I want a row below 12. I can click the column, right click and insert one below. Pretty cool, hey. Now, another thing I can do is also get multiple columns uh, fit in. This is something a lot of people um, don't realize that they can do. Let's say I want to insert three col new columns between column A and column B. I can click column B and go across three by holding shift down like this, or I can click across here and go like that, and I can go insert three columns, and bang, there they are. So let's try it the other way by selecting the column headers and go insert left three columns. There it is. Now, maybe you don't want to insert the entire columns. So maybe you want to just shift over a bunch of cells. So we can do this again quite easily by, let's say I want to shift over column F over to the right. So I can click this cell, go to insert, and down to cell shift down, cell shift right. So let's say I want to cell shift down, I can click this. And down it goes and you can see all just the data points in this uh, cell are shifted down but none of the data here on this row three has been shifted down so that can be easy to, to fix a few mistakes if you're working on something now we can do the same again to the right and we can do again multiple uh, space by clicking on the number of spaces and going to insert cell shift down cell shift right so we're going to cell shift right in this case and it should do all three again and you can see they've been pushed over to the right the selection of three cells that we selected earlier okay now that's it for insert columns and rows and cell shift right and up and down hope you can cheat better at connect four like me see you in the next tutorial